Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use default props. Uh, React also has an option to set default props. You can assign default props to a component as a property on the component itself and React assigns the default prop if necessary. This allows you to specify what a prop value should be if no value is explicitly provided. For example, if you declare my component dot default props is equal to a location of San Francisco, you've defined a location prop that's set to the string San Francisco. Unless you specify otherwise, React assigns default props if props are undefined. But if you pass null as the top as the value for a prop, it will remain null. The code editor shows a shopping cart component. Define default props on the component which specify a prop items with the value of zero. So the shopping cart component should uh, render. So shopping cart component, it's actually already rendering. My guess is this test already passes. And the shopping cart, cart component should have a default prop of items at zero. Um, great. I think, oh, we want to change the code below this line. So basically what we do is we say, we want to say that we're going to take this component. So uh, the shopping cart and we want to do a uh, default and we're going to set the default props. And within the default props, we are going to add items. And we're going to set the items to be equal to zero. Shopping card is not defined. Shopping cart. Okay. And um, the component should have a default uh, prop of items at zero. Okay. But why is this important? The reason that we would want to do this is say, let's say... Um, we could say uh, p, and here we're going to do a p element, and we're going to say items, right? And then within here, we can say uh, our props dot items. And so now we'd have that zero in there. Now say if we were to set the default uh, props to like four or ten or eleven, you know, then that way we're actually um, using this. I think that. They should probably have like an actual example. Uh, I don't know if that breaks it. Okay, so that doesn't even break it. So yeah, I mean, this is where you can see your, you know, you could set your default props to be like yes or something like that. Uh, oh, yes is not defined. Oh, it would need to be the string of yes if we wanted to pass in a string. Or something like uh, no items selected yet i think that this would be an, a real example if you were to say items no items selected yet i think that's a a useful way of uh, passing in uh, default props obviously this test wants you to just pass in zero so that's what you should do if you're going to run it uh, if you're going to pass the test and again i don't think that you need to have uh that in there that's just me describing it to you i think it's better though because then you're actually using the code rather than just writing it and not, not knowing whether or not it's working or not okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson